what does x and y represent in polar form? So if you guys remember, x is equal to r cosine of theta. Remember we did that to convert? y equals r sine of theta. Remember we did that to converting, right? So wherever we see an x and y, let's replace them with r cosine theta or r sine theta. And technically, that is a, an equation in polar form. Now, I will say we want to go ahead and practice solving for r. But in this format, I am perfectly fine with you guys just replacing them. And that is a polar equation. However, we should be used to solving this. So therefore, we have r sine of theta plus 2r cosine of theta equals 3. But guys, remember, we need to solve for r. We can't combine them because they're not like terms. So we can factor out an r. And we're left with the sine of theta plus 2 cosine of theta equals 3. Now I have r times all of that. So to solve for r, I just divide on both sides to save just a little bit of time. I'm just going to use those quotations. And there you go. Now that is a rectangular equation that you could plug into your calculator. Mm -hmm. Yes? Sure. 